Greetings everybody, this is Dr. Frankenlime, and I'm afraid I might have created a monster. Ah yes, in the spirit of Halloween, <laughs> I have created a new monster for Minecraft. It's a rare mob, but we're, I'm going to show it off specifically here. Uh, let's go into game mode survival, and I have a bunch of unseen spawn eggs. So this is the unseen one. Spawn him in, and you see I see nothing. But if I look to the side, whoa, here he is. Uh, so it's a mob that you can't uh, see <laughs> while looking straight on. Uh, it's kind of spooky. Uh, so you see, if I if I hit him, I get to see him for a second or so. Uh, but basically, this is a rare mob. When a zombie spawns, there's a 2% chance that instead we'll get an unseen one. Let's go into creative mode again and I can show you. So basically, the unseen one is visible when you're not looking at it. But if I turn to look at it, it goes invisible. Pretty spooky. So the way this mob works is you'll only ever kind of see it in the... In the corner of your eye, you're kind of... Did I, did I see something there? What was it? Yeah, and then of course you can hear it. And when you're looking straight at it, the only thing you can see is this tiny little flick of smoke coming ever so often. And then if you hit them, you'll get a one and a half seconds of visibility out of that. So... Kill him off, and the drop is a potion of invisibility. I figured that was pretty, pretty nice thing. They're pretty tough mobs. Let me go through a little bit of how this works. There's a lot of commands running this thing, and a lot of math actually. There's it's quite a complex thing. So this uses a whole bunch of stuff that I've tutorialized on the channel before, but essentially, um. This section from here and over here, and this section from all the way up to the edge here, on to sort of here-ish. Those command blocks are all to figure out the relative distance, the relative coordinates from me to the unseen one. So we're testing a certain unseen one and we have to figure out where is it in relation to me, because I want to know if I'm looking at it. Figuring out if you're looking at a mob in Minecraft is actually incredibly difficult. Uh, but I've done it with those, and then these calculations here, this is all scoreboard math stuff. Fairly complex calculation using something called fixed point math to simulate having fractional numbers in Minecraft. And two sort of here-ish is the calculations needed to figure out the angle between me and that mob. And then all of these blocks pretty much are just blocks that test my angle in the world, so where I'm looking, and then compare that to the angle to the mob and to see if we're supposed to have it hidden or shown. And then there's a bunch of other stuff like uh, sound playing. So I am actually running with a uh, resource pack, the Unseen Sound Pack. It contains only new sounds, so it doesn't replace anything, so you can just drop it into your world and it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess anything up the way resource packs sometimes can. And then we're doing particles, we're taking the heart times, uh, playing a heart sound, and stuff like that. Custom spawning. So we're tracking every zombie that spawns, and then there's a 2% chance, 1 in 50, that that zombie will instead turn into an unseen one. And an attack sound, so whenever it attacks you, it does damage, it will play a certain growl, and then... Uh, death sound, so when you kill it, it, it howls, and custom loot. So we get rid of... What this thing is, is actually a, a zombie pigman, funnily enough. It's a zombie pigman that's always angry, and uh, it's invisible. So the only thing you'll see of it is the armor that it's wearing, which is a custom head from a skin that I found at the Skindex, made by Pofan, or P-O-Fan 1. So it's a pretty cool head used on this character and then it's wearing chainmail and that's all you're gonna see but it's also wearing actually a stick as its footwear so it's wearing a named stick as the footwear which lets us detect when it dies and spawn in custom loot and get rid of the rotten meat and gold nugget and stuff 
that the zombie pigman would also spawn when it dies. Of course, this would have been great to use the new 1.9 loot tables for, but I decided to make it in 1.8 since the snapshot is still pretty buggy and I figured people want to test this without having to go into snapshot. That is all of that and uh, I hope people want to test this out and uh, try playing with it. It will be interesting to see how people deal with it. They are, when you are low level, pretty tough. You might have to run away from them uh, because they are essentially beefed up zombie pigmen. They're also scary as heck. I'm going to package this whole thing up. You can download this world, including the resource pack, or you can download this as a schematic and the resource pack separately. And I'm going to try to make like a one command contraption from it, but it's too much stuff. So I think it might be a two command or three command thing, but I'm going to try to include that too. So you can get that from the video description, download and play around with these nice little friendly mobs yourself. Also, they do spawn as one chance in 50 whenever a mob... Uh, Ah, <sighs> still scare me despite having worked with this for a while now. Um, they spawn as a 1 in 50 chance when a zombie spawns, but you can also name a zombie spawn egg unseen, uh, just like this one is. You can take an anvil and name it, and then when you spawn as a zombie, you're going to get an unseen one. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. So, in the spirit of Halloween, I hope you enjoy this little spooky mob, and that's it. Thank you for watching. My name is Slice Slime. Have a good Halloween, and I'm out. See you next time. Bye bye.